Hey guys, Marlo back again with another unboxing and review from NECA Toys. Today I have here the Gremlins Back to School Gremlin. And you can see here he is an Ultimate Style figure with the all too familiar Ultimate Style box. Here is the front of the package. This was a Target exclusive and I was able to find this at my local Target recently. So grab this guy while you can at your local Target stores. Here is the back with a little read up if you want. Just pause the video as I will keep moving on. You can see some product images there of the figure inside. A really funny addition to the Gremlins collection. You can see what he includes there. A lunchbox, textbooks, school outfit, bust up sign, baseball cap, glove and ball. So quite a few accessories with this little guy. So he is a really cool addition to the Gremlins collection. Like all the other Ultimate Style figures, we have the flap door that opens up to reveal the figure inside, as well as a really cool product image there of the Back to School Gremlin. So there he is with all of his accessories, looking really cool. I love that lunchbox. So let's go ahead and open him up and take a closer look at the figure inside. And here we have the Back to School Gremlin out of the package. And before we look at the figure, let's go ahead and look at his accessories. We do get the baseball mitt. It's an old style, classic baseball mitt. It's uh, sculpted this way, doesn't open up, so it's just one solid piece, but looks really nice. Painted really well and well sculpted. We have an extra hand there, I assume, for the baseball, which should hopefully fit in the hand quite nicely some pretty decent details there with the baseball we have the textbooks they're just two books uh, stacked upon each other we have what american history there and math they don't separate so they're just two sculpted pieces which you know they look pretty good and then we have a bus stop sign nothing special about that just a good old-fashioned bus stop sign and last but not least, one of the coolest accessories in the set is this lunchbox. We have Gizmo there on one side. On the bottom, what does it say? You can read that. Don't get them wet. Keep them out of bright lights. Never feed them after midnight. You can see an ET uh, logo there, which is kind of cool. And then on the other side, we have a Gremlin. Looks like Stripe. The ET or Amblin, I believe, logo there the handle and if you're wondering these are just decals or stickers like a really nice glossy sticker so they're not painted on to the lunchbox and it does open up let's see if i can do it yep there we go opens up quite nicely and yeah you can store little things in there it snaps together quite nicely so really cool accessories and moving on to the figure itself, let's look at this back to school gremlin. He has his hat, which does not fall off, which is great because other gremlins before, I think it was like the gamer gremlin, he had a hat, which just was the hardest thing to put on. Um, let's see if I can get this thing to focus and move everything to the side. <clears throat> The hat is basically attached, if I can get it in the lighting just right, I can hopefully show you guys. It's really hard to see back there, but... I uh, can't seem to get the lighting right on this, at least through the viewfinder, it's hard to see. But it is attached back there, at the top of his head, so yeah, I don't think it's really meant to come off. As with the other gremlins, the mouth does open and close. And nice soft goods uh, shirt and trousers. You can see he also has a belt there. So really good accessories on this guy. There's a really uh, big opening there at the rear for the hemorrhoids or the <laughs> whatever you want to call this, the tail section of the gremlin. And he is basically just like all the other 
ultimate style NECA gremlins that we've already seen. Just new accessories and a new outfit. Uh, let me get the camera down. Ooh, okay. And let's see. Don't really need to go through all the articulation points like I said. If you've already seen one of these Ultimate Gremlins, you've seen them all. Uh, yeah, the hat is pretty much stuck on there, but just giving you guys a good look at all of that. Really nice outfit, like I said. There's Velcro here at the back, so you can undo the pants if you wanted to. Not sure how you would... I guess you would have to pop the feet off if you wanted to pull the pants off. And then the shirt, that might be a little tricky too. Maybe you can pop off the head and work the shirt over the body if you wanted to basically undo that. But uh, yeah, I know all of these are pretty much identical when it comes to all the Ultimate Gremlins. But like I said, uh, it's just kind of nice having all these new accessories and different looks for all these Gremlins. And uh, yeah, I really don't mind that and hopefully they'll keep producing more gremlins to keep building that gremlin army or infestation for your collection. And that's more or less it. Not much to this figure other than just being a new addition to the gremlins collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to share the video. Like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Let's see, what else can I go over real quick? Maybe just show you guys his height. Just for you guys who are interested. He stands at right about 7 inches tall. And that's with the baseball cap on him. So, yep, that's it. Alright guys, take care. Keep on collecting, and I will see you all next time and that's the backdrop back there if i didn't say so already that comes with the the uh, figure makes for a nice diorama display all right bye bye